everyone and welcome in welcome back it's a monkey mar before we get into today's sad update please make sure you click that subscribe button the bell for notifications and of course the like i come with a heavy heart to let you know that the missing alabama student adam dowdow jr has been found dead you know as I was doing my video yesterday and getting it out, I just had the weirdest feeling that Adam Adowdell was going to be found before the video processed. And it's very sad. Missing Alabama State University student Adam Dowdell Jr. found dead. Alabama State University student Adam missing for a week has been found dead, police said. Montgomery Police Captain Saba Coleman said officers are conducting a death investigation after Dow Dow's body was discovered about 2.45 p.m. Monday, which was yesterday in the 800 block of Hutchinson Street. And that was just about when I finished working on my video. It just makes me sad. The body was taken to the Alabama Department of Forensic Sciences for an autopsy and was officially identified as the 22-year-old Coleman said. The circumstances of his death remain under investigation and no arrests have been made. Dow Dow left his dorm room to go to an ATM September 8, 2020 and did not return, according to a missing persons poster. ASU campus police were notified Wednesday that he was possibly missing. ASU PD has opened an active ongoing investigation with help from Central Alabama Crime Stoppers and assistance from surrounding law enforcement agencies, ASU officials said Monday. Police ask anyone with knowledge of this Dowdell's death to call Crime Stoppers at 215 stop secret witness at 625-4000 or the MPD at 625-2831. It's very rare that you find a missing boy that's a college student dead on an 800 block of a street and he's been missing for a week. I would really like to to find out what happened to Adam Adobel. I am a visual person. I like to see areas and get a visual of what it looks like and where they were going, where they were coming from. So Adam was at the Alabama State University and he was living on campus. His mom, Miss Cohill, said that he did not have a car and he was going to the ATM machine. So, there are a lot of ATM machines in this area. I'll show you real quick. So, these ATMs around the campus are just, just too many to even try to think of which one he went to. So, we're not going to. And at this point, it really does not matter which ATM he went to because he was found dead on the 800 block of Hutchinson Street. So it is about a four minute walk, 0 0.2 miles from the Alabama State University to where he was found. So I wanted to just look in the 800 block of Hutchinson and see what it looked like. Adam Dodell, rest in peace, and we are going to keep talking about you until we find out what happened to you. So let's go on a road trip and check out this 800 block of Hutchinson Street. Okay, so let's go see where he was found. And of course, they didn't say if he was found like in a house, in a park on the side of the road so this is the 800 block so Hutchinson turns into Ripley let's just take a cruise down Hutchinson real quick 
and see what's around here. That looks like a church. And before we'll go into an aerial and see what's going on back there, that tree line. See if we can get a number. Eight fifty one. Yep, this is the 800 block. Let's go a little further. And then this should be the end of the 800 block. Martin Luther King Highway. So that's what's behind the fence line, is the highway. Alright, let's go into an area real quick. So this is the 800 block of Hutchinson. The campus is over here. And we saw the underpass, which is coming underneath here to get onto the 800 block. I am going to go look at some news videos out of Alabama and see if I can find out if he was actually found at a house, if he was found in a tree line. You know, this 800 sits right about here, so it could be Back in the woods here. Stop being rude, Google. Let's get back down here. Oh, what is that? Oh, a piece of garbage. Because behind this wall is the highway. Let's go in one more aerial and just see how dense. It's not too dense. So this is the area where he was found. All right, so that is the sad update that I have on Adam Dodell, a.k.a. Bell. May he rest in peace and his family have peace and strength and find out what happened and who did this to him. He's a good-looking boy, and I'm going to show you two pictures to where I was not even sure if both pictures were him, to be honest with you. But that's all I have on the update. I'm going to check out a few videos in Alabama and see if I can find the area. And I am going to stay on top of it because I want to know what happened to a 22-year-old college student from Alabama State University. When I saw a few pictures of Adam Dowdell Jr., I thought, is that the same kid? Because... He looks so different. So I do not know if he looks like the top picture. Well, in the other pictures, he's not smiling except for the picture in the beginning. And I noticed that he did not have gold teeth. So I decided, you know, why would a 22-year-old walking to the ATM kilt? Maybe jumped for his money? I don't know, so I thought maybe back in the day he ran, had a little trouble, and I looked and I could not find anything on him except for some little court thing with a, a debt. 
and I pray for his family and like I said earlier I am going to stay on top of this and see what the updates come out but I could not see any live news media when they found his body so the area is still unknown but I'm guessing it's probably back in that little tree area at that corner all right guys with that it is a wrap I want to thank you all for coming in thank you for watching please like or dislike whichever you prefer and subscribe everyone have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world and stay vigilant I am out